Hello everyone, it's Joe Casadonte, Casadonte Homes. I'm out in front of my Upper Stump Road spec house and just giving you a little update on what we got done this week. We got a ton done. We finished the siding and as you can see we put on all our wood shutters, all custom made wood shutters. We put on some light fixtures here we hung, uh, some of our barn lights here. And we also had these really beautiful big barn lights over here on the barn, or I'm sorry, on, on the garage door, above the garage doors. Really beautiful. Uh, another little barn light here, and we've got a nice address plaque and our, our barn door window set up there. And as you can see, we worked on the stone. Got a lot of the veneer done. It's about 80 or 90 percent done, and it's looking really nice. We got our porch ceiling on which is a knotty pine. Really, really beautiful effect with this stained knotty pine. It's really nice. See that? And we did hang our fixtures here. On either side of the front door. This front door is finally on its way from Texas. It left yesterday and it's on its way to us. This front door, the back door, and the side door are all eight foot tall, four panel glass with a bottom panel of wood, all in a knotty alder wood. It's going to be beautiful. And then we have uh, some of the prepping we did on some of our landscaping. We're getting ready. We're grading it all out, and we're getting ready to, to, to make up the beds here. They're all going to go all along here around the ruins. We will get our grading and sod and seed work done. Stone veneer walls started over here. We got this far, as you can see. It's coming together nicely. We finished our gable here. Did our Azac and our gable. Finished power washing and cleaning up our ruins. Got everything pointed in. All that's looking fantastic. Finished up our porch columns, got a final coat of paint, stain on everything. And as we go inside, we finished drywall, spackle, and tape. That's all done. Monday we'll come in and do a final sanding and touch up of all the spackle. All the drywall, I mean. And our kitchen, breakfast room. And I won't do an interior shot. We're just uh, getting ready to trim. Next week, I'm, I'm hoping we get started by the end of the week with some trim work. This here, on this wall, this is the wall between the great room and the breakfast room. And there's going to be, um, you know, there's going to be a counter here and a coffee station and a little refrigerator. So it's like a little butler's pantry with some really cool cabinets on either side. It may be tile in the back. This area here is going to be a transom window that's from the great room to the breakfast room. I found an old piece of glass, a window pane, that uh, had real nice styling and nice mullions. Old, old piece that I'm going to restore. I started restoring it already. And we uh, framed the opening for that to go in there. So that'll be an interesting detail. Also in the fireplace here, this whole wall will be white stone. And this mantle will be um, cut out of one of the beams in the old barn that we have, that we saved, one of the nicer beams. And as I've mentioned before, this whole built-in area, this whole area is going to be a built-in with all the barn wood, really nice barn door. This door here that goes to a huge mudroom area, that door is going to be an eight-foot tall Dutch door. So the bottom will open, the top will open separately, and you know, if someone does have a you know, small animal, let's say, or they have a dog or something they want to keep in there when somebody comes to the front door, you put them in there and keep the top open, and uh, it'll be a nice little area to keep, keep that situation. And this is the hallway that goes down to the bedroom and bathroom and closet that's like a little suite down here. And then this wall here, we have a nice big window this window looks out at the silo beautifully. Really nice feature there. And this wall, I am 
kind of tossing around the idea of taking all the some of the the siding the old siding barn siding and barn planking and doing this whole wall here in the old barn wood it's something that I'm still thinking I think I might do it okay that's it for now folks we're gonna wrap it up for the weekend so there we are our little update have a good day